All right, so we got Honest Game Trailer System Shock Remake. Let's to video. Now listen, I think I've heard of System Shock before. I didn't... In a world I just did my little dance. Epics. Get ready. I've heard of System Shock before, though. I can't lie. In a remaster of one of the original I don't think I've ever played it. That will show you the horrors of virtual space. But they're still probably less terrifying than the metaverse. Do we react to it? Kill it with fire. Is that Zuck? Shock remake. Take a leap back in time and relive the good old days where games came on something called a floppy disk, and you couldn't go online without listening to your computer screech at you like a digital demon for 30 seconds. <laughs> then download yourself into the title that laid the foundation for several other shocking gaming experiences. You know, before things got really wet and Iron Randy. In a remake that faithfully recreates the original from the pixelated aesthetic. Yeah, I don't remember. I've, I've never played Christian. this before. Because nothing says nostalgia like running around for an hour before looking up where to go next on GameFAQs anyway. What? True. You ain't wrong. Know that. Uh, I missed this. True, I do miss it too. Cyber vest of the hacker. I miss the old games, man. cooler than anything anyone wore in the movie Hackers. To do a shady deal on a space station. Ooh. Where you're forced to press the big red button labeled do not press. Unleashing an AI whose main goal seems to be turning all humans into spirit Halloween displays or roided out boomboxes. That despite being an emotionless collection of ones and zeros, still manages to out charisma Comstock. I think we like Krillin. Then hack your way out of Citadel Station with sophisticated cyber techniques like Gun. As you run around the levels trying to find the color coded keys like you're playing Doom and accidentally stumble your way through objectives that you didn't know about because they were in one of the 8,000 audio logs you definitely didn't listen to. In an iconic plot line that's probably about the- What are these right forever. here? Okay, look, I get it. We suck. Now oh, no. So I can scrap these DVD players. Daddy's got a gun upgrade with his name on it. Wow, look at those coins, man. ...through the electronic maze that is System Shock as you use your assortment of guns, ray guns, grenades... Yeah, I've never played this before. ...the lightsaber. Ooh. ...the unholy abominations that stand in your way, like zombies, robots, zombie robots, and is that a f***ing pterodactyl? <laughs> then fight against the most difficult adversary of all, limited inventory space. Bro, I thought he said you women. I was about to say, hey, that's track, crazy. Like you're a kleptomaniac that's man. crazy. <laughs> While fighting to survive the never-ending onslaught of very mean C-3PO's as you desperately... Nah, but these zombies the built like Karen Duran, Meta World Peace and stuff like that, bro. Like, what's going on, bro? You're going to respawn immediately. Okay, well, maybe not immediately. Seriously, though, do we have to watch the death animation every time? Yes. Why does dying in the game have to make me remember that I'm slowly dying in real life? Your, your body will never be mourned. Dive into the cyberverse as you slice through System Shock's vivid hacking sections, which all look like... Your body will never be mourned. thought the internet was going to be like in the future. And control about as well as a drunken round of descent. All to serve as the world's most overcomplicated on switch. But you have to do a whole lawnmower man to turn off. But hey, at least they're more intuitive than the power puzzles. Look, I don't have an electrical engineer degree. I'm just I a don't either. gamer. My favorite kind of puzzle is apply bullet to enemy face. So boot up that hacking deck and forget to turn on your power-ups in a loving recreation of a genre classic that you could call timeless if you hadn't just spent 20 hours getting lost in it. We all complain about over-tutorialization and hovering objective markers right up until a game doesn't have them, and we instantly feel like a kid that can't find their parents at a theme park. I mean, Please, yeah, that's what any game, though. Station, give me a lollipop and have my mom pick me up. Starring Cri uh, Hacker Man. Hacker Man. Oh! oh. Go, go. These very epic voice cameos. Okay. Oh, they're dead. Granny GLaDOS. Those little portraits from Guess Who. And Was that Sheldon Cooper? Singularity. Snacktron. Snacktron. What is that? All your all-natural synthetic flavor cravings. Windows 2077. Yeah, it's nice to be able to play this game without emulating a computer that runs on punch cards and all. But <sighs> when are we gonna get to the real classics? Look, all I'm saying is this would be a Facts. Right time like, where's like Killer Instinct? Like, you know, right in the 64, you, like, remake? What you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. It's happening again, Samuel. <laughs> Oh man, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this video? Um, 
to answer your last question, bro, I would love to see NFL Street make a comeback. I would love to see uh, Killer Instinct, uh, Nintendo 64 version comeback. Um, what else? What other game do I want to see make a comeback? Um, I wouldn't mind another skate game. I'll be real. I mean, even though I wasn't really too good at skate games, I used to have um, the game Skate on my Wii. Yes, Nintendo Wii. I used to have Skate on my Nintendo Wii, so uh, that was crazy. But I'll probably say skates, uh, NFL Street, um, or whatever. I, I really don't care. But as long as those two, I'll be definitely be happy, more than happy in life. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys later for next. And that's what happens whenever I'm too tired. I mess up my intro. Sorry, my outro. But guess what? We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with the, roll with the punches. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And 